Hi, George here. And if you just opened up Minecraft 1.21.4 and all of a sudden your resource pack folder looks like this with everything in red over here, left hand side, and none of your packs loading over here on the right hand side, that means that you need to update the pack.mc meta file. Just go ahead and choose done and done. Let's get back to the game in here. Now I knew mine had a problem because way back there, let's just walk around and take a look at that. I have a giant server play button back here. And I use the resource pack to change those paintings into the look for the giant server play button. And if I ever get 100,000 subscribers, I'll get a real one. But right now I have a fake one here just to give me a goal to work towards. Let's go ahead and see how to fix this. Here we go. And I'm back at the Minecraft launcher. And we're in version 1.21.4. Let's go up here to installations, latest release. And over here to the right of the play button is a folder right there. Click on that. And this opens up the Minecraft folder. Scroll down until you find your resource packs folder right here. And you need to update the pack.mc meta in any pack that you're currently running. I have my standard pack right here with all my normal stuff, including that big poster. Open this up. And there's the pack.mc meta. Let's just change the view here. Large icons. There we go. Pack.mc meta. Let's open this up. And right now, this is for version 1.21.3. That was version 42. This is now changed. And we need to change the pack format number right here. The new format for 121.4 is 46. Let's just change that. I'm going to put up here 1.21.4 so I know which version this is for. Okay, that's done. That's now fixed. I'll just save that. So I fixed the one here inside of my custom 9 resource pack. It has a few things in it that I normally have in my game. All the rest will still be red. Let's go in and I change those as well. Now these are all unzipped, so they're easy to fix. You just go inside of it. Find your pack MC meta and change that. If you have anything that's zipped like I have right down here, you'll have to unzip this, but there's a way to unzip it properly so it works. I'm going to right click on this. Let's extract all. Choose extract. So that's now right here. I can now get rid of this one. Let's hit the delete key on that. And that's gone. And then go inside of this one. And there's your pack.mc meta right here. So let's open this one up. Let's change this to 46 and save that. I'm using Notepad++ for all these changes. It's really the easiest way to do this, and it's free. Now there's a way to zip this back up again so that it works. If you go back in here and you zip this, it's not going to work. You have to stay inside of here, zip this up. I'll select those, right click, and it's compressed to zip file. It has to be a zip, give it a name, like that. Take that zip and put that back into the resource packs folder back here again and there's that new zip file. I can now just delete this one and there we go. So those are fixed. Let's just see those better. There we go, large icon. So I fixed this one and we also fixed this one with a zip file. Okay, now that that's done, we can go back into the game again. Let's go ahead, we'll hit play. It's going to reinstall those resource packs and we then should have those two available again and the rest of them still red since I haven't changed those yet. Okay, back into options, resource packs. There we go, those are now available. I'll click on the arrow, bring those over here to the right-hand side, and we should see those again. And also have to go back and change all of these, just get everything back up to speed again here. Okay, choose done. Let that reload, it's gonna change my look in here. There we go, there's my custom look. Choose done there, that's good. Back into single player and my main world right here. And let's make sure that our giant 100,000 subscriber award is fixed. And it is, there we go. One of these days, I'll get that. You can help out just by hitting that subscribe button. Really appreciate that. And if you're working with a downloaded pack, it's possible that there are more things that have to get fixed for it to work. This is one of the things that you have to do, and it's all you have to do on a simple pack, but a more involved, more custom pack it may take a few more steps. That depends on the programming, but this takes care of a lot of those issues. And it's good to try first anyway. If it works, you're done. If not, you have to go back and do more work on your pack. Make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I really will appreciate that. And I'll see you next time.